Okay, so my name is James Wimpsch, and you just come back with number two. And this is my last video post for the day. So, I've been going through some encyclopedias and stuff, and I come across something that kind of twitched me off a little bit, and, you know, totally pissed me off as I've been fact-checking, because apparently the world does not count Eskimos as Native American, which I consider a crock of bullshit, because I keep mentioning the Great Splinter. Alright, so, I'm a little confused, but society, apparently, this is an encyclopedia, and I'm going to read this highlighted blue area, because it pissed me off, because technically, Native Americans and Eskimos are Asian, and Native Americans come from Mongoloid stock, according to this thing here, and that would make them one and the same, which also means the origin of Native Americans basically... They were the nomads of Asia that came over and then splintered off into thousands of tribes, all right? So let's go with this. Now here it says, like the American Indians, Eskimo belonged to Mongoloid stock. That's where you should probably have stopped writing right there. It goes on to say that they have straight black hair, dark or brown eyes, high cheekbones, wide faces, but Eskimos are not Indians. Eskimos have shorter arms and legs and smaller hands and feet and lighter skin than Indians. Alright. That there's a slap in the face. I explained in other videos why that is. So technically, that part of the encyclopedia can't be right because when the tribes moved over and they splintered off, the Eskimos stayed in that area. And they also moved into like the northern pole regions and Iceland and Greenland and shit like that where it's cold. Where they have thrived for the same amount of time as the Native American Indians that would come down into Canada to become the First Nation. Which would come down into Americas to become all the thousands of tribes that would go down into South America. Which would become the tribes because I've showed you a list of tribes and some of the tribes are in like three fucking spots. So why are Eskimos not considered Native Americans? Yet... They are considered Native Americans when it comes to, like, colleges and shit like that. So, somewhere along the line, something is fucked up. So, the way I see it, because of the stories of the Great Splinter, which I, uh, no one really talks about. You know, if you're not of, of a Native American tribe or whatever, you don't really know much about the splintering of tribes where they decided to go their own way. Which is why you have Cherokee in places that normally don't have a big... Um, showcase of Cherokee is why you have Ojibwa in South America as well as in North America and it's why you, Apaches were moved, period. Apaches were forced from where they were. So, you know, why are the, the encyclopedias not counting Eskimos as Native Americans, yet uh, they have the same beliefs, the same religions, the same traditions. They rode kayaks instead of canoes. You know, they hunted seals instead of buffaloes because that was what their meat source was up there. Seals and killer whales and fish and stuff like that. So, that being said, I'm James Williams. You just come back with number two. I'll go deep into that when I can find more research. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for listening. I will go deeper into it, but there's a lot of people here, so I'll remake the video in more detail later when everybody kisses their asses to sleep. This is Come Back with number two. Be seeing you.